quick revision video on atomic structure and if you're not already subscribed please hit the button so we'll start with the fundamental particles so these are the subatomic particles that make up atoms protons neutrons and electrons we need to know their relative charges their relative masses and their location within the atom so we'll start with the relative charges proton is one plus neutron is zero and electron is one minus relative masses now so one for the proton one for the neutron and one over 1836 for the electron you can get away with one over 2000 and you can even get away with saying negligible location now so the protons are in the nucleus and so are the neutrons and the electrons are found in orbitals which are outside the nucleus so we're going to move on to isotopes now so we'll start with this every atom of an element has the same number of protons so for example every atom of nitrogen has got seven protons almost all elements exist as a mixture of isotopes and isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons so they've got the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons and so that's going to give them different masses so how do we represent isotopes so the first thing is to say is the x here is the element symbol the a is the mass number or the nucleon number and that tells us the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus and the z is the atomic number or the proton number and that tells us the number of protons in the nucleus of the atom so what about the electrons well atoms have the same number of protons and electrons because they are neutral if you remember the protons have a one plus charge the electrons are one minus and so therefore if they're the same in number the atom will be overall electrically neutral no overall charge that's obviously different for ions but we're going to come on to that and since the protons and the neutrons make up the mass of an atom you can work out the number of neutrons by subtracting the z the atomic number the proton number from the mass number so a minus z gives you the number of neutrons so we'll finish with a couple of quick exercises so here's the first one how many protons electrons and neutrons are there in the three particles on the screen so the first thing you'll notice is the atomic numbers are missing for magnesium and lithium that's not a problem the exam boards often do that so just go to your periodic table and your data sheet and you can find them there so magnesium it's 12 and lithium it's 3 so the proton numbers the easiest one to start with that's just the atomic number so 17 12 and 3 so moving on to electrons now you need to be careful and see if you've got a charge you can see on the first one it's cl minus so that means there's one extra electron than the atom so it's obviously got 18 electrons the magnesium in the middle there that's got no overall charge so that's going to have the same number of electrons so 12 the lithium ion well that's one plus so it's lost an electron so that's two electrons and then finally for neutrons we subtract the small number from the big so it's 18 for the cl minus ion 12 for magnesium and it's going to be four for the li plus ion so the last one we're going to look at is this one here how would you represent a particle that has 23 electrons 26 protons and 34 neutrons So the obvious place to look at first is the number of protons that's telling us that we've got iron and the next thing i'm going to look at is the electrons are they the same no there are three fewer electrons and protons so it's got a three plus charge and now for the mass number it's the protons and neutrons that make up the mass so we're adding 26 to 34 and we get 60 so that's how you would represent that